A day after Super Wednesday, when Parliament held hearings on three of President Moon's nominees for top government posts, and the parties can't agree. In a strained atmosphere, they've put off a decision on those candidates, including the nominee for foreign minister. Our Shin Se Min has the latest. The ruling and opposition parties are clashing over President Moon Jae-in's picks for top government jobs. With a final decision on the nominees yet to be reached inside the parliament, major political parties held separate general meetings to clarify their own stances on the nominee for Deputy Prime Minister and Finance Minister Kim dong yeon nominee for Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa Fair Trade Commission Chief nominee Kim Sang-jo and the nominee for Chief of the Constitutional Court Kim Yi-soo. The ruling Democratic Party of Korea says it fully supports the president's picks, but the opposition has empathetically opposed the nominees for the Foreign Ministry, FTC and Constitutional Court posts. Even the center-left People's Party, also known to hold a casting vote within the parliament where the ruling party does not hold a majority of votes, told reporters that it does not support the foreign minister nominee, making it more difficult on the ruling party to unite all parties. But unlike the appointment of the now Prime Minister Lee nak ministerial posts do not require a full floor vote by the parliament. And if the president decides to push ahead with the appointment of Kang as Seoul's top diplomat, frictions in the National Assembly are likely to increase following a rocky appointment of the prime minister. But the approval of the deputy prime minister nominee Kim dong yeon will most likely be adopted on Friday, making him the third to be confirmed as President Moon fills the top government post in his administration. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.